Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're gonna talk about doing real animation with Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. All right, so we're gonna dive into the basis of cartoon animation, also known as traditional animation. Uh, there's a little bit of software that goes into this, so we're gonna be using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. The main point of this video is to show the workflow between Adobe Illustrator and After Effects while you know pulling off this nice cartoon animation. The tips in this video are very easy to follow along with, and you should be able to do this type of animation by the time you're done watching this video, regardless if you have design skills or even if you know anything about After Effects, you're gonna be able to follow along this video. So there's a few ways that you can get your hands on these uh, cartoon graphics, they're called vectors. And one way to do it is you can create it yourself in Adobe Illustrator, which can take you a lot of time to learn how to do that type of design. Illustrator is a very easy piece of software to learn, but creating the content is its own skill set by itself. So what I'm gonna use is something that you can use as well for absolutely free, which, which you can download thousands of free vector files off of freepix.com. I'll link it in the video description. And we're gonna be using some of those assets in this video. So go ahead and check the links in the video description if you want to download free vector files so you can follow along. The only thing you need to know about Adobe Illustrator is how to layer objects inside of Illustrator so you can bring it over to After Effects and easily animate it. So let's go ahead and talk about how you do that and let's get started. All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator and I downloaded this scene from freepix.com, all vector graphics. And you can see if we click through each of these layers, you can see the outline of each object. Even though we have all these objects separated and we can select them individually, if we brought this into After Effects, we would only be able to animate the main image here and basically be like a picture, right? So we want to be able to control each of the elements that are inside of this graphic. So what you're going to have to do is group these together. So typically when you download template vectors like this, you'll get usually one layer that has everything in it. You can open up this layer over here in the layers panel and we'll open this up and we'll see paths and groups. So simply what we can do is we hide a group here. You can see that's the entire tree there. We can open up the group and we get some more groups and basically you get to the point where you see all the original paths of what that takes to make the tree. So I can hide this really quick look right here on the tree and that goes away. So technically that's its own path. But what we want are individual layers. We don't care about animating the design of this tree. So what we need to do is physically create a new layer down here. We'll call it tree one. And simply what we do is when we find our group here, so we know this is all the tree elements, what we can do is click on this circle right here and this will target all the layers or all the paths inside of this uh, layer. And we can just drag this to our new layer. And now it's its own separate layer. And After Effects is now gonna recognize this as two separate images. So we can animate this tree by itself and also the scene. So obviously from now, we wanna to continue to create new layers and we wanna add other elements to it. So I'll add the second tree to our new layer. So now we have two different layers there and we can continue to add elements. So maybe we'll do the sun and now the sun is in its own layer. And sometimes you'll get like specific objects in the group, like see all these leaves that are over here. What I would do is I would actually delete pretty much all the leaves except for one group in here. So we can open this group and we can isolate a couple of these together and we can just hide them. And by doing this and isolating its own layer, we're gonna be able to duplicate this inside of After Effects and animate it individually instead of wasting all our time and creating seven different layers for the same object. So let's say you buy like a pack of objects. So this in case is a bunch of characters. Sometimes the vector graphics are all in one Illustrator project file. And when you click on specific elements, sometimes the entire thing selects, you know, maybe all these are gonna be selected or sometimes, you know, the floor is just gonna be in there. What we wanna do here is find a vector object or character that we want. And we said we don't want this floor in our object. What we can do is control click it and just delete it. So now this character is all by itself, completely alone. So obviously now we want to separate this from the rest of the vectors. And what I would do is I would copy this entire object and I would create a new document and I would paste her right in there and we could resize it if we want. It doesn't really matter, it's all vectors. So if we want to say select our hand here to kind of do like a little waving motion, what you need to do is control click it or command on a Mac and you hold down shift and control and you can select, say this portion of the hand, these two objects together and we'll create a new layer. So that hand's isolated by itself. So this is essentially basic rigging for characters if you want. So I wanna select her face, but there's a lot of elements in her face that I would have to select manually. What I'm gonna do is hold down control on a PC command on the Mac and just drag a box here to select her face and all these elements will highlight in here. And once again, I'll create another layer in here. When you're done, you need to go to file, save as, and make sure you save it as an illustrator.ai file. 
and then we'll want to save our character make sure there's no background in here so we don't have to take that out in after effects so now we're done with illustrator and we can move on to after effects all right so now we're set up for success and we can bring this over to after effects and we can animate the individual layers let's go ahead and let's get started on the animation so now we have after effects fired up and there's a couple ways we can import this the way that i'm going to do it is i'm going to go to my folder navigate to the files here and bring it into after effects one layer at a time i'm going to right click them click on replace footage with layered comp and do it for the second file but what i'm gonna do is double click our main autumn scene here and here is all of our layers co nicely compiled together we can isolate them turn them off it doesn't really matter what we can do here but we have full control over the scene and we want to make this obviously you know a video frame size right now this is 750 by 500 so what we can do is go to composition and click on composition settings and we can resize it to 1920 by 1080. now i want to proportionally scale everything so what i'm gonna do is create a new null object and i'm going to select over layers and pick whip it or parent it to the null object and you can toggle switch to the modes if you don't see that parent tool now with the null object selected i'm just going to s on my keyboard for scale and i'm going to scale up our scene so now our problem is things are pixelated so we zoomed in and there's a little bit of pixelation going on since these are illustrator layers what we can do there's this icon called continuously rasterize we can click this on no more pixelization magic it's awesome so now i can animate the scene and you know do whatever i want so i want the trees to pop in like this boom no big deal make the last keyframe an easy easy keyframe by hitting f9 we grab our second tree layer so now i have animated two of our trees here i'm gonna go ahead and animate some of these other properties using the basic transform tools so now we have a very basic animated scene now so let's talk about these leaves that are floating here so now that i'm in after effects it's very easy to duplicate these just go to edit duplicate and now you can have some extra leaves in here you can use the basic transform tools to you know mix them up a little bit so now we have some very simple animation in the scene all right so now let's talk about our character here so it's in its own composition obviously so now i want to animate our hand and if i animate the hand separately it's going to animate the entire thing and of course we have to move the anchor point so what i would like to do is right click our layer click on create and click on create shapes from a vector layer and from here we're going to have those individual paths in its own shape layer from the, each group here so I would like to animate these separately and sometimes you need to be strategic so I want to animate the hand to do something separate and also the forearm but what I want to do here for the entire group since the forearm is con connector of the entire object I'll just hit R on my keyboard for rotation and I can add a keyframe there and of course make sure the anchor point is at the joint here so then you can carefully animate this so here's a wave and we can so now if I want to animate the hand I'll go back into the contents and I will go to our group here and I'll make sure to move the anchor point here use a smaller anchor point here and I'll move this anchor point onto like the wrist and I can continue my animation so I'll probably still stick with the rotation even though there's a very subtle example of it now there's independent animation you know among the forearm here and when we have our character all animated ready to go we can just bring in the character composition into our main comp and always reposition our character maybe we'll put it right over here down here maybe and we can layer her accordingly and now since everything is scaled up, I would just delete the null object and I would create another null object and we can parent everything to this null object and we could do a very basic, you know, scale animation inward. So, you know, maybe want to add some movement to the scene, we can just scale inwards by a touch. And now we have some extra scale into our entire scene here and go ahead and turn on motion blur and turn it on at the top. And here's our current animation and a quick preview and the possibilities are absolutely endless this is a very basic run down on how to do this sort of animation and you could just do so much so it's really up to you how much detail you want to put into this so we went pretty fast on the after effects animation but if you need a little bit more help on animating you can go ahead and check our links in the video description for more of our tutorials that we do with this type of animation a long time ago and of course if you're expected to turn around professional projects right away you're just watching this video to get the head start on it what i suggest for you is to check out several of these after effect cartoon templates that have pre-made rigged characters for you and scenes that you can just drag and drop and just reposition everything. Uh, these examples right here are from Video Hive. You can check our links in the video description. And of course, doing all this animation can be very tedious. There's, you know, hours and hours I go into animating each and every layer. So I highly suggest picking up the most handy presets for Animation Composer, which is for After Effects, which comes with over 1,000 animation presets that you can just drag and drop onto your layers. You can take hours or even days of animation work and get it done within a few hours so even a few minutes depending on how long the project is. So go ahead and check our links in the video description if you want to speed up your workflow or get a head start on a project. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production slash After Effects videos every single week. 
Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.